Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mr. Sovin, and today I'm going to walk you through how to create a simple but effective login page in AppSheet. Now, if you've ever wanted to add user authentication to your app without diving deep into complex coding, AppSheet makes it super easy. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel to watch more videos. Let's get started. Welcome back again. Here's my last employee tracking system app one have created. If you are new to my channel, please watch my last video of how to create a simplest employee tracking system app. The link is in the description. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my last app one have created. So first of all, you have to create a new sheet with a list of all app users. Click Add to add a new sheet. Rename your sheet to Users. Add your table headers to what information you want to know from the users. In this case, I add user ID, email, name, role, and password. Now it's time to add your users into the table. Add all the users who are using the app and the user's information. After finishing adding users to the table, now return to the app sheet to start creating the login form. Go to Data tab, then click Add to add a new table. Then choose Google Sheet. Look for your sheet and select to choose, then click Select. To add your Google Sheet, then click Add one table to the app sheet. Now we got the users table in the app sheet and you can click on the table to view the permission of updates, add and delete. In data tab, click on user settings to customize the user settings. Then click on per user settings to start customizing. In per user settings, you will see the user options. 
Click on the first option to edit for the login page title. Rename the second option to username, the third option to password, and the fourth option to role. Check on the show option to show the username and the password text box to the app. Click check on a required to always require username and the password. Click on the save button to save all your changes. Now you can see the settings on the left menu. Go to UX tab, then click on options menu to change some settings. Then click on Starting View to choose a starting view when you first open the app. In this case, you have to choose User Settings. Click Save to save your changes. Now go to Data tab, then click on User Settings menu to customize your user login. Click on Edit to edit username properties. In Data Validity category, click on Validif to add some formula to define the username. Add this formula in for username data validation. Click Save to save your formula. Do the same thing to password properties. Write this formula in to define the user password.
click Save to save the formula. Don't forget to tick on Reset on Edit in Update Behavior category and do the same this to Username Properties. Click Save to save your changes. Now you can test your login form. Now go back to UX tab, then click on Localize to edit the localization. Scroll to find the Save button, then choose Filter and click on Save to add some formula. Add this formula to identify Login button. Then click Save to save your formula. Do the same thing to Cancel button and then write this formula. Then click Save to save your formula. After adding the formula, click Save to save your changes. So now we can see that the Save button is now become a Login button. Now click on the left menu, then click on Settings. Click on Setting below the app to add a formula to the display name.
At display name, click on filter to filter a display name with a formula. Then add this formula. Click Save to save the formula. Then click Save to save the changes. Now we can see the login. Now we are going to change the login icon to make it more interesting. At Finish View, choose the view you want to go after the user login. Click Save to save your work. Now start a test. If you type a wrong username and password, it will say, this entry is invalid. Thank you for watching. Hope you find this video is helpful. If you find this video is helpful, please click the like button and click subscribe to watch more further videos.